All right, so in today's video, I am going to show you several very old structures, very unique, one of a kind, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll show you the acre of flat area. You can see some of it down here. I'm going to take you to the creek. We are going to do some exploring. Let's get into it. Take it, take it. All right, everyone, I've got a really exciting property for you. Uh, very excited about this one. 103 acres for 175,000 with owner financing available with half down. And it's located in the historic town of Ingot, where in 1862, the old timers mined for silver, copper, and zinc. They That was their main thing. They also found gold and other minerals but they're mostly after those items uh, copper I think mainly um, so you can actually own the old afterthought smelter um, incredible melted rock formations uh, there's an acre of flat area which I will show you soon and the one acre flat area would make an excellent motocross ATV track you know, something like that with jumps and berms. Um, but don't take my word for it. Elk appear to visit the property. Check this out. Several parcels of land are included. Little Cow Creek, which has fish, runs through the property and is year round. Most of the property is sloped to steep, but there are lots of little flat spots and trails to explore. And for physical driving access, but not deeded access, uh, you can use Donkey Mine Road off of Oak Run Road in Oak Run, California. Uh, the sellers use this access for years and hasn't had any issue with it. Check out that concrete. All 
All right, so this is the beginning of the smelter property. Little gate there. No through traffic, dead end. And uh, goes down all the way to the bottom, which I will show you very soon here. All right, so check this out. Look at this. Some kind of concrete foundation maybe. This property is just fascinating with all these old unique relics. I don't know if that was a foundation for a building. I don't know if anybody has any guesses, leave a comment. <laughs> Check out this cool behemoth. This thing's massive. Concrete going all the way down, look at that view. Let me zoom in for Epic. Okay. Oh man. This is awesome. Whoa. So, I'm not sure exactly what this was, but obviously something to run something downhill. Maybe melted rock. I'll show you that down at the bottom. So, I got into a better position here. The road you can drive up into, into the property on the other side of the highway there, is right up in here and goes to the top where you can actually see this area right here where I'm standing. Very cool, power right over there. Um, when you reach the top there, there's views of Mount Lassen, which are basically behind me. You do need all wheel drive or four wheel drive to reach the top of that property just because there's a steep hill climb. And it also adjoins hundreds of acres of BLM land and there's some pink tape down the road frontage, marking the approximate frontage of the property and real estate signs. And if you want to check out this part of the property where I'm at, you either have to drive in the back way or park along the highway and go across the creek. I don't know if you can see, but the creek's running pretty fast, so you're not gonna be wading across that at the moment. Um, however, you can in um, the summer and the fall uh, it slows down a lot so you can cross it there is no bridge okay so there is part of the property that you can access from highway 299 by driving up the property it's on the left side of the road when you come from Reading versus the right uh, so you do need four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive because it's steep. Um, I walked up this here, as you can see, and it goes uphill, more into the property up there. Um, you can see the other side of the highway and creek. Um, let's see, right there, you can see some of the concrete structure um, of the... Uh, property on like I said on the other side of the creek and uh, the other side of the highway but this part I'm on like I said you could technically drive on up here uh, it's uh, physically accessible I decided to walk it there's a nice spot up here at the very top all right almost at the top this is me looking back where I came up. A little more overgrown here. Still doable. Not too hard to fix up. 
and this is the top up here flattens out nicely it's been cleared a little bit this is all pretty flat all the way back in here so you can clear all this out um, if you wanted a bigger flat spot but you could definitely put something here looky what we have here cool view spot with a little a little bench chair Wow, look at those mountain views. Snow capped. Oh, I gotta zoom. I don't know if you can see it real well because this is a action camera, so it's more wide angle than your uh, naked eye. So everything looks closer with your eye than it does with the camera. But uh, it's phenomenal. All right, we gotta we gotta try these out. Back back down. Have a seat here. Take stuff out of my pockets. Ugh. Yeah. Let me adjust the camera so you can see what I see. Ah, oh, it's a nice day. Perfect temperature. Mostly clear skies. Warm sun on my face feels great. <sighs> All right, I'm going to kick it here for a while. I'll be back. <laughs> yep, I'm still sitting in the chair here. So peaceful and quiet up here. You can hear the wind gently blowing in the trees. Highway's way down there. I can't even hear it. Wow, I see Mount Lassen too. I got to show you that one. Alrighty, am I zoomed in here? I think I am. Uh, right here. Spectacular Mount Lassen. Okay, so I want to give you an idea where we're at here. See if you can see that. So we're the blue triangle. The blue line is where I walked. And the red is the boundary of the property. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Anyway, near the boundary and the top of the property. A little bit more, we could go left and back a little bit more. That's where it's all level back in there, this way. Let's walk around that brush pile and check it out. is nice. Starts to slope down over here. Um, but this way, got a long level ridge or something up here. It does happen to be where the brush is, but it goes back that way. Oop, screen turned off that way. Yeah, it's a great spot, easy access. Level ridge up here, usable, private, views, quiet, peaceful.
we have to go explore that bad boy right there. Looks like fun. A uh, pretty cool structure, I have to say. Especially if you're out here in person. It's massive. Alright, let's head over to this boy. Check this thing out. We gotta go inside there. Wow. I'm gonna go down here and then turn right to go inside. Well, yeah. So it looks like just a bunch of wood has fallen down. I don't think there's a pit down in there. Pretty neat looking. Concrete sides. Some kind of shoot. Maybe it drops something down right there. Neat. Oh. Here's what it looks like from up here. So you can see that flat area. It's a definitely a solid acre, it looks like. It goes around the corner right about there. There you go. You can see the highway and the creek. All right, we gotta go look inside here. These guys got a peek at this. Hope they won't cave in on me. Hmm. Oh, almost bit the dust. Oh, nobody's in there. Oh. Woo wee. Huh. I wonder what this was, huh? Hello, hello, hello. Well, that was me, okay. Dead end. Wow, it's cool in here. It's almost cold in here, actually. That is neat. Check that out. Those are like five, six feet tall. Must have held something up. There's a little trail leading down that way. Pretty neat. Let's keep going.
a lot of acreage to walk, so yeah, ATV is helpful. It takes a couple of days at least to explore all this. 100 acres, yeah. Here we go. All right, something I got to show you guys. It's up this semi steep hill. Something was uh, constructed running downhill from up that way. And you can see the uh, concrete supports right there and further up. Here's a close-up of one of those supports. I wanted to show you the, the brick kiln. I don't know what it is, but they probably tried to melt the rock here. It's just my guess. I don't know if you can see the rock here. Interesting. Probably made this on site, huh? <laughs> Giddy up! Let's go check out the creek. It's a trail right here. I'm going to collect a trail camera real quick first. It's real close to the water. And it's a good spot to cross when the creek is uh, not flowing too fast. So here's one of the structures still standing. Not the first frame here, but the second one behind it. There's the old trail camera. There's the creek. So this is some kind of old structure. I don't know what it was for. Still standing. But not for long. <laughs> Nice creek. Let's go check it out now. Can't stand it any longer. I love water. Oh, this is a little muddy. If you can see that. Here is Cow Creek, year-round creek. Crossing the creek, there's a path right there, leading up that way. There's a place to park on the side of the highway. 
There's some pink ribbon over there. You can follow the trail down to cross right there to get over here. But just not right now because this, <laughs> this thing's raging. Not a lot of uh, white water at the moment, but it's deep, trust me. Sandy beach. Look at this. <laughs> That's cool. I feel good on the feet. Take the shoes off, socks off. A nice warm day, that would feel like you're at the ocean. Oh, we got some white water up here. Mm. Bug just blew my mouth. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store down here. There we go. I'm at the bottom of the flat area, just below it. Flat area is right here and down that way. Uh, I wanted you to see this. This is all melted rock. Like, uh, almost like lava flow. And you can see a layer right on top here. Go along that way. There's the coolest designs in this cooled rock. I'm going to show you more. It's even more incredible in a minute here. Anybody in there? Nope. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. So we got a little pond going on from the rains. More rock layers. This is all melted rock, I guess, on top here. It's a big old pile of rock. And I wanted to show you the, some of the cool formations. It's like you're walking on the moon or another planet, to be honest with you. I mean, not that I'd know, but this is what I guess it'd be like. Check out those designs. like these steps of molten rock. Maybe this is kryptonite. It's where they get the stuff for Superman. And they want to put him down, I don't know. man-made steps, huh? I don't think this thing zooms in very good. Like close-ups are not real clear. They're blurry! Some shiny stuff in there. This would really be a cool uh, ATV track, motorcycle track. You could have jumps over here and going over this way and down that way. There's another ravine. There's all kinds of possibilities for fun entertainment here. More layers. 
Oh, there's a cool little uh, cave, but it's uh, small. I'll just show you here. Right in there. Goes back a ways, but then it ends, I believe. Thought this layer was cool. Look at that. Neat stuff. I'm up on the third level here. I'm down there. Show you the big concrete structure with the uh, I was at earlier up on top. Um, but here's another one. It's got a chimney on the left. Looks like two kilns or maybe something like that. One right here in the center. That's just a guess of mine. I really don't know. It would be fascinating though to. Uh, Research, try to find some history on this thing, like serious history, and then figure out where everything was. So there's like a saloons and general store and all kinds of stuff. Places where uh, the guys slept and, uh, you know, like structures, uh, like single structures, I believe, because there's little cutouts around the hillsides here and there that are level. Um, anyway. Just fascinating if you're into uh, history and uh, exploring. This is a incredible property for that. So I promised I'd show you the uh, other level area that's just down from this big, huge, flat one. And it's right over here. So that plus all this flat area here. Some kind of structure so just down here near the creek there's like a trail or a water trail right there right along here uh that's where i found some it looked like elk scat uh like an inch long um but that's all i found so i'm not an expert but some of you guys might be it's either deer or elk, I'm sure. All right, so this is the highway frontage of the property. Here's the highway here. Property there. That's running down the hillside there. And this is part of that big flat area. Hard to see it probably a little bit. <clears throat> Got the creek there. Pretty awesome. Here's another view. I'm uh, on the side of the highway. There's the property, that big flat area. It's the Ingot sign, the town. Population 30. <laughs> uh, here is the creek beautiful so here's a pretty good view more clear here of the uh, property on the other side of the highway and other side of cow creek it's as much as I can zoom in with the action camera it is a lot closer than it looks through the camera <laughs> All righty then.